Hello everybody. This video is regarding group by and summarized columns in Power BI. The grouping we are going to do it in Power Query. You know, Power Query is where you can group values in various rows into a single value by grouping the rows according to the values in one or more columns. You can choose from different types of grouping operations like aggregate. You can aggregate a column by using an aggregate function. Example, you can sum up, you can count. Now go into the details about uh, group by. If anybody doesn't know what is group by, can take this example. Here the year values are 2010, you have two values. 2011, you have two values. 2012, you have three values. So group by means you will sum up all the values with respect to the year and we will show it. So 2010, you will sum up these two values and we will show it. 2011, you will sum up these two and show it. And 2012, we will sum up these three and show it. So this is what is called group by. And the same thing is for summarize also. Same procedure is for summarize. Group by we are going to use in Power Query in Power BI and summarize we will use the DAX function for summarize. We will create a new table and we will use the summarize column. So summarize returns a summary table over set of groups. The syntax is new table equals summarize column, the group by column. And if you have another group by column, you can give that. And then you can give the name of the column, name of the column where you are going to give the aggregate values you can give that name and then the expression to get the aggregation so we will start our example by starting the power query so we can go to transform data so in this data we are having a purchased table here we are having some data and the first grouping we are going to do is we have can group this, we can group the date, the year column, and we can get the revenue. With respect to the year, we are going to get the revenue. So I don't want to uh, spoil this table. We will take the reference of this table. We can give the name as year revenue by year. And here, in we don't have a, we can add a column with respect to this date, but what we are going to do is we have a calendar call table. Here we are having the year. This year we are going to merge it in revenue year. So in revenue year, we will merge, we'll use merge queries to merge that calendar table. Both of them are related with dates. So we will select the date and uh, using the join operation, we are going to connect the table. We will take only the year. So we got the year. Now we will go to transform and group by. In this group by, here we are going to give the year which value which column you, are, you want to group it. So we are going to group it by year and what is the name of the aggregate column which we are going to create and we will give it as revenue because we are going to take the sum of the revenues. So we will give it as revenue. You are not going to count the rows, you are going to take the sum of the rows. And which column you are going to take up, we are going to take up the revenue column. So you can Click OK. Yes, we got the calendar. With respect to the year, we got the revenues. So now we can close and apply. We will check the fields. We got the table here, revenue by year. So what we will do is we will take the table and we will select the year and we will select the revenue. So we got the calendar year and we got the revenue with respect to that calendar year. 
Now we can create the same group by this table using a summarized copy. So for that, you can go to the data tab. Here we will see the new table. Just click on the new table. So you got the tab to write the DAX function. Here we will write the DAX function, DAX revenue by year equals to summarize columns. And here, which column you want to summarize? You want to summarize the year column. Year column. And uh, with respect to the name. Name, we are going to give it as revenue. And which field you are going to take it for uh, revenue, that is the sum of sum of revenue. Purchase revenue. So we got the table here, and uh, here we have to change the decimal places to two. So we will check whether both the values are correct. So we'll create a table here, and so this is the year, and we will do the revenue also. So both of them, we just giving the summarized value. So we don't want we don't want that sum. We want don't summarize it. Yeah. We got the same value here also. So summarize column and group by does the same operation. So it summarizes the value with respect to the group by clause. So we will we will see one more example. We can go to the transform data. We can do the group by using advanced tab. We'll take once again we'll take the reference of this purchase table, and we can give it as year, and we'll take it as revenue by year and mode. So we have a mode table here and this mode table is having three name, three values land air and water so with respect to all the years we have to get the value for land air and water so for that we have to bring this land air and water to this table for that we need to and the problem is this is not directly related these two tables are not right directly related. This revenue table is related to product and that product table is related to habit and that habit table is related to mode. So we have to go through this all this relation and get this value to the revenue year by mode. So for that we need to merge the queries. For, first we need to merge it with product ID, we have to get the product name and we will get it with the product ID. And we will take product ID from here and we will take the habitat ID from here. And now once again, we need to merge the queries and now we are going to give this habitat ID and we are going to take the habitat table and get the habitat ID. And here we are going to take the environment ID. This environment ID is the ID which we can get the mode table. So we got the environment ID. Now we can merge the mode table. And get the mode table environment ID. And now we got the environment ID, and we are going to get the mode name, the environment name. So we got this name, and there is no need for all these tables. If you want, if you don't want, you can remove it off. We got this mode name, and we are going to do the advanced grouping. And now we need to get the year also because we are going to group by year and 
this mode. So we will merge it once again with the calendar. Merge for each. Select the date and select the calendar. Date. And from here, we are going to get the year option. Now we will go and do the advanced grouping. Go to transform group by. So initially we are going to take the year. Under the year, we are going to do another grouping that is with respect to the mode. Here we are going to get the revenue only. And we are going to sum up the revenue column. So it, it is with respect to the year, under the year it will be mode. So it will be like this 2018, under 2018 land, air and water, then 2019 and under 2019 land, air and water. And with respect to the revenue, so it will be shown. For that we are doing the advanced and select OK. So we got it in 2015, we have land and water, we have this much revenue. Same thing for all these years, we are going to, we are getting this value. So we will close and apply. So we got this table, revenue by year and mode. So we will select, so we will get the metrics table. And here, First, we will give the calendar. Then we will give the mode. And then we will give the values. So if you enlarge this, you are getting land and water. Same here for air, land and water. You can do it in another way. You can take this mode and give it in the column. If you give it in the column, it will be showing like this. The air, land, and water will be shown as different columns. And uh, this is the basic uh, thing that a metrics table does. So in this way also you can show it. And in other way also you can show it like this also you can show it. Now we'll do the same thing with respect to summarize call. So we can create a table using DAX and get these two group by names with the revenue. So go to the data and here we will create a new table. And in this new table, we are going to write DAX revenue by year and mode. First, summarize columns. And uh, the first attribute is the group by column. And first is year. We are going to use the year. So calendar year. Then it will be, we need the mode. So the second grouping is with respect to the mode and environment name. And first one is year. Under the year, it is environment name. And then we can give a uh, name for the column, revenue, and then we can give the expression, sum of purchase revenue. So same thing we got here also, but here the problem is you need to change the decimal places. So we'll go to the visual and we will take the, in this metrics we will, this is the table which we created just now. In this metrics we will give the year and then the revenue and the environment. So we'll see whether in 2017 both are same. Yeah, in 2017, we got both same values. 
So in this way, you can create the group by using the Power Query without any code, or you can use DAX function to create the group by. So if you have any doubt regarding this, you can comment it or email it. Thank you. Have a nice day.